Good morning, dear viewer. I take this opportunity to welcome you to the Gospel Lens. The sun is up and our faces are basking in its beautiful glories. And so we receive a fresh ray of heaven's brightness. Now I want to take uh, your mind to the book of John, chapter 8, the verses 1 to 11. Now the scripture talks about a story of a woman who was caught in the very act of adultery. And now the Pharisees, the Jews, took him to Jesus Christ, perhaps to try him. Now as they were moving, they had stones on their hands and they come to Jesus. That's why our topic today is the sound of the rocks. Now Jesus gave what could be termed as the death sentence for this woman. They said, whoever is sinless amongst you, let him cast the first stones. And now as the woman was in this scenario and listening, he hears the sound of the first rocks. And perhaps she, it doesn't hit her. And she says that maybe the person who threw it was not good in targeting and so missed the target. And she hears the second sound, the rock falls down. And now the third sound of the rock and the fourth, the fifth, until there was no more sound of any rock around her. And then she hears the sound of the rock of ages when she was hopeless, when she thought that all had passed away, when she thought that now she will meet her death on that fateful day. And now she hears the sound of the rock of ages. Where are your accusers, uh, woman? And he tells the woman, go and sin no more. That was the sound of the rock of ages. What have you heard the Rock of Ages tell you? Have you heard the beautiful things flowing freely from his lips? Have you seen his beautiful face? Have you heard from him this morning? I want to give you the assurance that we have our Rock of Ages and when he speaks unto us, his words will ennoble us, his words will cheer us up and they will buoy us up to keep us in our pilgrimage until we reign with him in glory. Would you listen his, to his voice this morning? I present him unto you. I am Jovin Odiambo for Kusda TV, the gospel lens this morning.